Hi, you're with Chandeep at Goodly once again. And in this video, I'm going to be speaking about one of uh, my recent dashboards, which is not in Excel for a change. This is in Power BI. And I have made this to analyze learning and development data of an organization. This is a small prototype of one of the consulting uh, engagements that I've done. In this dashboard, you can take a look at the learning and development data through various angles, uh, through various analysis that you can perform on that data. Uh, now, I'm going to be making three videos in this uh, small video series. The first video is going to be uh, on the end user. So if you're the end user who doesn't really care much about the data, but you care more about the analysis from that data, and then this video is for you. In this video, I'm going to be sharing uh, the exact working of this dashboard and how can you work with it, what all uh, analysis can it provide you. Uh, in the second video, I'm going to be talking about the person who creates the dashboard. So if you are one who's creating the dashboard, then both the videos are going to be useful for you. The one, this one, and the next one where I show you the exact data at the back end, how all this is set up, just an overview of it, and the different codes and the formulas that I've written to make all of this work. And the final video is going to be, uh, if you're interested to implement this sort of a dashboard for your organization, how can you do that? Uh, what all things that you need to do in order to kind of, um, you know, make this working for your own organization. I'm also going to be giving you the files and all the downloadable stuff and you can just grab that. All right, so let's just start. Uh, so we have, uh, although this dashboard is embedded into my web page, but uh, this is too small a screen for you to see. So if you just go over to the bottom right corner here, you will see enter full screen mode. As soon as you click that, this becomes the full screen. And as of now, we are on the training sheet. So there are like four or five different screens or dashboards that you can um, browse around. So let's just start from the first, which is the dashboard screen. This is just an opening slide, nothing much here. Let's just move on to the second one, which is the planner. This is where we start the dashboard. Now you can see that on the top, uh, we have all the months uh, and you can take a look at uh, how the entire learning and development has been planned for the entire year or let's say for a particular month. So let's say I wanted to see Jan, Feb and March. So I'm just gonna click Jan, uh, hold the control key Feb and March and this dashboard is now filtered down to only three months. Um, so we trained a total of uh, 83 people in these three months, covered 824 man hours, six different programs which are these, uh, 70 people unique, 83 total, 70 people unique, covered 25 locations. Out of the 83, 14 were females and males were 69. Right, so this is how the um, overall picture looks now let's say for example somebody is interested in in knowing that how many um programs that we did for senior management maybe the vice president level people in these three months so you can just take a look at the chart here which shows uh, the hierarchy of the company you can click on vice president here and this dashboard is now filtered down by two criteria the first three months and vice president you can see that we did four programs for vice presidents these are the name of the programs the days on which the programs happened how many people did we train how many days of the programs were they how many total people how many unique people number of programs number of man hours and locations all male vice presidents right and this is a way you can kind of uh, you know take a look at entire uh, the dashboard you can filter down by the uh, hierarchy you can also filter down by the department so let's just take a look at the entire year once again Let's just say that I'm just going to unfilter vice president by clicking here once again. Let's just say that I want to take a look at uh, maybe the HR. So I click on HR here and now this dashboard is for the HR. So from the HR department, people came at the manager level, the department manager level, the vice president level, the officer level. And these are the, the people that came from different divisions. Total 13 people trained, seven were unique, seven locations from where the HR came in. Number of programs were eight. 116 man hours. These are the list of the programs that HR went under, right? You want to filter down by a particular month, select the month on the top, and this again gets filtered down. So you can either filter by the month or a combination of month, program, department, or the hierarchy, any which ways, right? Let's just take a look at um, the second sheet, which is the training sheet. Now in the training sheet, what this is going to give you is an overview of 
whether the training hours man hours have been met or not met because one of the kpis in lnd is to meet the number of training hours right so um as of now we have the all the years all the months selected and we have the attendance as full and partial right the attendance can also be more than the full and partial i mean it can also be absent or some other attendance status but as of now in my data i just have full attendance or partial attendance all right so uh, total 204 people trained 128 unique uh, 13 people were under target who could not meet their uh, their uh, you know number of required number of man hours uh, total target was the entire organization was 1024 uh, you did 2104 hours which is a little more than the double of this so you have 100 percent positive variance of this and some some percentage metrics at the bottom now let's just take a look at uh, people who have um, partial attendance because these are the people who I'm sure will be missing out a lot on the target so I'm just gonna filter down by partial and you can see that uh, there were 21 people who missed their targets so this is the list of all those 21 people who missed their targets and you can also see the department which they come from and you can also drill down to a particular employee so let's say if I want to filter down to Barry I can just click on Barry and I'll get to know exact Barry's details so Barry is a general manager you can see general manager being highlighted Barry's number of hours were total number of hours that he was supposed to do was 12 he did only four that's why he has a negative variance of 67 percent and the program that he missed was seven habits uh, of uh, highly effective people and uh, the department is dealer sales you can also see that right here I mean you can filter down to a particular employee or you can uh, come up to an organizational level or to a business level or to a hierarchy level any which way that you like so let me just click on Barry once again to filter up and maybe you can find out all the vice presidents who missed the training so click on vice presidents and you'll have the list of all the vice presidents and the variants and all that kind of stuff here you can also see by the month uh, you can see by the attendance status, you can also see by the name of the program or by the department filter any which ways and this dashboard is going to function fine. All right, let's just take a look at the third sheet, which is on the cost. Now, um, this is already filtered by Feb, so let me just say select all. And this is already filtered by partial and full attendance. So let me just take a full account of the cost. So I'm just going to hold the control key, click on full. And this is now the full cost of the entire year. Um, now, as of now, this the data that I've been working with in this dashboard is only up till June. So if you select July here, this is going to show you blanks because there is no data here. That's why it's so as soon as you input more data, this dashboard will self update and start showing you more insights from the month of July onwards. But as of now, I'm just working until the June data. All right. So the full cost of the training in the entire six months was 667,000 and the split that how many were external trainings, internal trainings, you want to hover your mouse on top of that. It shows you what exactly is the number. Also the percentage in brackets, you can see that and you have the name of the program here. How much did you spend per employee on that? And what is the total training cost of that program? Also, how many people did you train in that program in the entire year? You have also the list of vendors on the right hand side that which vendor accounted for how much billing, right? And you can also see that the how the cost is moving month on month. So in Jan, how much did you spend in Feb? How much did you spend in March, April? So you can see that the cost always remains, uh, you know, kind of in the in the first bracket here. But the cost certainly shot up in the month of Feb. That means you did a very expensive program in the month of Feb. Let's just go take a look at that. So if I filter down by the month of Feb, um, I can see that we did a expensive program, uh, so we which was nearly four hundred and twenty thousand in cost in the month of Feb, which was brand and customer institute, fifteen thousand per employee, and the total people trained were twenty eight in that program. Now, an interesting thing is that let's just figure out how much money was wasted because people did not choose to attend that program. So let's just filter down by the partial attendance. So 33,000 were wasted and the, this is the per employee cost uh, of the people who were uh, who missed the training program. And uh, the people who missed the training program were from dealer sales, HR, contractual and customer services. And they were from the officer level, vice president level, manager level and department manager level. And you can then go back to the previous sheet and find out that, okay, who were these people in the, in the training if you really want to get the names of the people as well. All right, so that's the cost of, that's how the cost is working. You can filter down by the program, you can filter down by the external or internal cost and this is going to give you the numbers right.
All right, let's just move on to the last last uh, analysis, which is the feedback analysis. Uh, in the feedback analysis, we have again the all the vendors here. So if the number of vendors increase, this is going to expand. So num organizational, whether they are internal or external, and what is their overall score in the training? Now the overall score is based on five things. Just take a look at the program name here. N list, name the program, the total cost, the money that you spent on it, how many programs did you do, and what is the breakup of this? in terms of five different areas, training content, interactivity, trainer knowledge, the training style, and this is the overall average. So if the overall average goes below, I think 4.5 or 4.3 or something like that, it turns red. And if it's over that, it turns green. So the last impressions was the only program that, that went well rest. All the programs, the feedback was terrible uh, according to the benchmark that you have set. And also a couple of interesting metrics on the right here. So this is the training average um, and uh, 113 people had full attendance. 39 people were absent or they had partial attendance. And you can see that uh, I am only considering the attend the feedback of the people who are present in the entire tenure of the training and you can take a look at the training average by band how are vice presidents giving the rating how are general managers giving the rating you can take a look at different areas here you can also take a look at by the trainer so let's just take take my name which is 4.29 um, i train on microsoft excel uh, google is the name of my organization uh, and i've done two programs uh, this is the the feedback that i have under different areas my total training average is 4.9 so this is how you know you can kind of give constructive feedback to the trainer who is not performing in certain areas you can reallocate the trainer to different departments or different hierarchies of the organization and you can filter down by months once again all right so this is uh, this was the complete uh, dashboard which gives you analysis in four different sections the first one is a planner that means how are you planning the programs all around the year the second one is uh, your training that means how are you are you meeting the training targets or not in terms of man hours and you can drill down to a particular employee or come up to an organizational level uh, the third one is the cost that means how the cost is moving entire in the entire organization you want to take a look at the cost leakage you can take a look at the partial or the absent as well uh, the last one is uh, the feedback uh, and this is the entire feedback of this, right? So this is how the dashboard is made. All right, a couple of things before I close on this video. So first is that um, you, this is going to work on your phone as well. The exact same experience that you get uh, on the desktop or on the laptop, you're going to get it on the phone as well. That means if I click on external here, the entire dashboard is going to filter down in your phone as well. You can have all these features available in the phone as well. Uh, second is that you need active internet for this dashboard to work since this dashboard is published on the web so this will not work unless you have active internet on your laptop or on the on the phone in case you want to understand the workings behind it that how have I constructed it what is exactly power bi how the interface looks like um, move over to the second video which is probably underneath this video in case uh, you're watching this on my blog uh, in case you're watching this on YouTube. I'll provide a link underneath the video All right. Thanks for watching and thanks for your time and do take care of yourselves. Cheers and bye-bye